Hi guys, welcome back to Dome Level 16. I am your host Javon, and today we're back with a brand new benchmark. Today we're testing out GTA 5 for the PC. Today I'm running this on my Intel Core i3-1010-5 with the Intel UHD 630 integrated graphics. They're running with 16 gigabytes of DDR4 RAM and dual channel memory. And right off the bat, you're probably wondering, Javon, I can't hear anything. Well, yeah, for some reason GTA 5 has an issue with my capture card and doesn't want to record the audio, so I said screw it. I got really annoyed. <laughs> And just said, you know what? I, I just want to test this and get GTA 5 over with because I don't want it. I don't want it lingering anymore. Anyway, we're running at 720p on the normal preset, so I do apologize for the lack of audio for this video. Every other video I tested on this for some reason had audio, but this one is like, nah, bro. We ain't got it for you. So I'm running at 720p normal settings, but not really. We're using frame scaling, so it's 0 0.5. So basically, we're rendering the game at 360p, and as you can see, it is playing phenomenally. Holy crap. Now, once again, we're inside a building right now, so th that frame rate is going to dip hard, which is why I'm not too concerned about it, which is why I have it running like this. I know how bad it can get. Trust me. As soon as we get outside, just like that explosion, the frame rate is going to tank. So that's why we're sticking to this right now. It actually does look really pretty, though. It's, it's quite, quite amazing that you can run GTA 5 on an Intel USB 630 at this kind of frame, anywhere around this type of frame rate. Even at this set, these settings, man, it's kind of crazy. If you ask me what this is back in the day, I was like, hell no, nah, you were crazy for this. But it's actually running quite well. We're only using about 5.8 gigabytes of RAM. Once again, GTA 3 is, is, is GTA 5 is an old game. It's a very old game. <laughs> but it's doing really well. This CPU alone is, imagine this CPU alone can give you this great of an experience. That's pretty awesome to me. To be able to play this type of game, uh, this type of experience, man, it really does show as long as you can tweak settings to get things lower with lower res, you can play a lot of games on integrated graphics, man. It's quite crazy. I always forget how to switch. I totally shot Michael's arm there, but okay. Okay, so I, I do notice the frame rate is going down now. We're in our 80s now, hitting 70s, and we may just be able to hit over 60 when we get outside. Now, I know this because I tested this on the Intel HD 620, which had a lot of constraints, by the way. In case you're wondering, why is the difference between this HD 620 and the HD 630? It has a way better CPU. The CPU was a limiting factor with that one, as well as a power limit. There were a lot of factors that were limiting the HD 620. In case you're wondering, why is this so massively different in terms of performance? So actually when I get outside is when I drop the HD 620 to the resolution I'm running at right now. I guess. So we are still able to hold over 60 FPS. So it does show you that this game is still playable even at over 60 FPS even here in this scenario. That is quite impressive for integrated graphics to be able to run GTA 5 like this. Like this is a great experience. And to be honest with you, it could look a lot worse. I could have capped this to 720p normally and just did 30 FPS and it would have been fine. 720p normal? And we would have been good, Gucci. Ow, what the hell? Who just shot me? Oh, you. I get you, I get your toes. I got your toes. Oh, no, I just got your head. Is anyone else over here still alive? Yeah, yeah, you are. Oh, you're still alive, huh? That was awkward for me and you, pal. So we are getting, still getting over six. This is actually quite impressive, actually. I am blown away by this. But yeah, once again, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to please leave a like, comment, subscribe, and stick around for more epic content. If you guys enjoy seeing me test games on low-end hardware like this and seeing that what low-end hardware can do, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, guys. It really helps on the channel. Now, obviously, because I am simply too lazy to test the app, get too far in the game, I can only get to the tutorial because I ain't got time for GTA 5. I got a lot of stuff to test. I'm sorry, guys. So we're not actually able to test inside. We're obviously just the, the world, which is actually way more demanding. But this is a quite good representation of the beginning areas at least. It runs well. Oh my gosh, I actually died. I didn't realize how damaged I was. Then again, I can't see anything, so why would I? Anyway, I'm just going to mute myself now because I don't really want to, you to hear the echo in the background anymore. So yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Enjoy the rest of the gameplay.